Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So now post API integration. So in previous episode, we are done with the gate API. How do we integrate the gate API? Now we are going to do the post API integration. And for as I in the previous video, I explained like we are going to use my API. So what you need to do, you need to visit preapi.miniprojectideas.com. So once you visit this particular domain, you will be getting Swagger. So now Swagger is something like API documentation, like what are the APIs are there? Uh, what is the method of the API? Everything about API, like uh, what are the various APIs we have? What object we are going to get? What object you have to send? Everything you will be able to get. So in that, uh, in this particular swagger, you will be able to find so many APIs. Out of that, we are going to use uh, car rental application API to use. Now, here if you see, we have create new car API. So this is the API which we are going to use. But before that, now first we will integrate our gate API. So what I have done over here, let me, oh, one more thing. So if you are going to use my API, you need to run your project on particular port number. So that will be 4209. So how do you run? Let me just check one more time. Yes. So on 4209, you need to run your project. So how do you run project on some different port? So ng serve hyphen hyphen port. And then whatever the port number you want to use. So now my application will run on this particular port number that is 4209. Let it run. Let's try to access in 4209. Enter. So now you can see we are able to access our application on 4209. Now, post API integration. So basic thing I have um, uh, already created means just the UI. So what I have done, I have created this component post API. Inside that, I have created this table, right? After that, I have created this form. So form, you can see it's just very normal form. So it just label, label and the text box, label and the text box. And after that, we have button. And we are using bootstrap card. Fine. And so this is the UI what you are able to see. Fine. So first I will do, we will integrate the gate API it means what are the cars already are created that we are going to see. Now you will be able to find some data already there because APIs are free. So everyone is using it. So this is the gate API. So let's copy this URL. So what I did, what you need to do, let me just by default, it will like this. You just need to click on try it out and then you can execute. So once you execute, you will be able to see the URL over here and see the response. Fine. If we copy this URL and paste it in the new tab, see, we are getting the same data. But if you see the response of this API is object and inside that object in data property, we got the actual array. Fine. So let's integrate this API. So let's now in this component, we are going to do the API integration. Fine. Now let's go to dot TS. How do we do the API integration? First, we have to create constructor. Now, one more thing in the previous episode, we have uh, used uh, constructor to create instance of our HTTP client. Now over here, I'm going to use inject. So HTTP is equal to inject you need to use. And what we need to inject HTTP client. So either you can create the object of HTTP client in the constructor like this, or you can create like this. This is what we got from Angular 16. Fine, inject method. How do we create the injectable service object? Fine. Now, inside that, we need to create function. So get all cars. Now inside that, this dot HTTP dot, our method is get one. And we need to pass our URL. So this is our URL. Now we need to subscribe to it. So subscribe, round bracket, result, tool and any arrow function. Fine. Now, whatever the data we get from this API, we need to store it also. So let's say car list, just a variable I'm creating uh, of array. Fine. So we have created array. Now in result, 
you can see we got the data in object format. What properties we got? Message, result, and data. So we we need this array. So what we will write? This dot car list is equal to res dot data. You need to write because in res you will get object. We don't want to store object into this array. We want to. We just want the data. So that's why res dot data. Fine. Now what I will do? We don't have. Oh, we have. We need to take one button also. Let's create. Let's add call it over here. And in call for, I will just add a button to load that data. Plus btn btn success load cars. Fine. And on this button click, we are going to call that function. So click because we have not seen till uh, uh, what was that lifecycle event. So that's why I'm creating button like this. Fine. Now, whatever the data I will get that I'm going to store it over here. Let's print it also. So over here, we can now add the red for loop. Car list inside that we need to create. TR. And inside TR, we have to create TD. So what number of data we uh, we said a brand move model that much TD we will create. Let's copy paste. So in first, we have to show the serial number. So dollar index we will use plus one. And over here, we need to print remaining information. So now at a time, I will just copy the same thing over here. Curly bracket, curly bracket, item dot. Now we just need to print the properties. Let's check the API response. So we have brand. So let's copy brand. It will go over here. Then we have model. So model. Then we have registration number that is this. Always try to copy paste the field name. Otherwise, you might make the spelling mistake. Sometimes field can be small capital values, right? Let's check now if we are able to get the data. Now, let's open the network tab. So once I click on load car, you can see API call is there and whatever the data we have currently that is visible. See around 19 cars has been already added. Now, this is get API integration. Now we have this form. So if you check the swagger, this is the API what we need to integrate. That is create API, post API. So this is the object what we need to send. So what we normally do, we copy this object. Let's go to .ts. Here we need to create the object car obj colon any is equal to object we need to paste. Let's empty the field. So string I will replace with empty double quotes like this and here also I will put it as empty daily rate also also empty fine so whatever the object we need to send to the API that I have copy pasted after that this object we need to bind to our form also let's just open side by side so we have created object now this object I need to bind to our form so this object we need to bind to our form by use uh, by ng model. So if you have to use ng model because we are going to use template form, so we need to import forms module. Then wherever we have class uh, form control, I'm going to copy that and I need to replace that with class form control and round bracket ng model. Just in one go, I'm writing this ng model instead of copy pasting everywhere else. Model is equal to double quote. And what we are going to bind? This is just a shortcut I'm using, or let me just write it first. Square bracket, round bracket, ng, model. What we need to bind it over here? Car object dot. This is for registration number. So registration number, you need to bind it over here like this. And one more thing. Uh, so this is the problem with my API. In the swagger, you will be able to see letters are coming in capital. So make sure you make the first letter as small. I know like in API, we are able to see capital, but make it small. Because in the edit, we will get the error. Fine. Doesn't matter if it is capital or small, you can use this. So registration number, we will bind it over here. Now, everywhere I need to bind it. So what I will do, this I will just copy paste over like this. And what I have done, at a one time, I'm just trying to remove, replace and copy and paste. So what I'm, I'm searching this and I'm going to replace that with this. So once I replace all, see, everywhere we got it. Let's just remove it from over here. Now we just need to bind the field. So second is for brand. So let's copy paste now. 
brand, then model, then year, whatever the field you have got from API that we need to bind. And last one is the daily rates. Wait, daily rate is over here and car image. Fine. So what we did, whatever the object we have got in the swagger that we copy pasted, created the same over here. And this object we have binded to our form by using ng model because we are going to use the template form. After that, we have a save button. So over here, we need, we need to write the click event function on save car. Let's create this function. Now on this save car function, we are going to actually make the API call. Now I will be just closing this. Now, this function. Now here we are going to make our post API call. So this dot HTTP dot post. So get API call just need the URL, but post API call need URL and the body. Body means nothing but object. Fine. Like what data you want to store? Post API, what, why do we use post API? To insert new record, to create new car. Correct. So what, wait, something is wrong over here. Let me just create it again. So this dot HTTP dot post. So post will need post will need two parameter URL and the object. So object is nothing but this object we need to pass. Let's get the URL also. So URL will be almost this will be same. Just our method name is going to change. Create new car. This is our method name. So this will go over here. Let's remove this. Now this is first parameter that is URL. Second parameter the object we need to send that is car object then again we need to subscribe from bracket result colon any arrow function curly bracket this is our basic api call let's add a debugger also now if you see the api what type of response i'm going to get result data and message so result is the property which you need to watch out for means if result property is true you will be you get to know like api call was success if result property is false then in message field you will get the error like why api got failed so for that you need to add a small check code over here if result dot result if result property is true we will show the alert box like car created successfully successfully and in else we will show the message whatever we get from the api means result dot message i will explain this let me just add a debugger you will be able to understand why i am writing this if and else code fine so this function we are going to test now and mm -hmm. this function we are already calling on the save button let's check it now oh one more thing again we are using ng model inside oh sorry so we are not using ng model inside form text so name attribute won't be met, uh, mandatory now Let's just check one more time for the console if it is properly there. Yeah, we don't have any error. Now, let's check currently how many records we have. So currently we have around 19 records. Let's try to create new car now. Let's say registration number is MH112233 something. Brand, let's say Maruti. Let's say Celerio, then year, let's say 2023 model is there. Color is, let's say, red one. Daily rate, let's say 1500 daily rate. Now car image. So in over here, you don't have, we don't have a functionality for upload image. So you can directly provide some directly online URL. So let's say Celerio car. Let's go to Google. And we will use any image yeah so let's open it let's open this in a new tab so we will get the url so this url we can directly put it over here fine now so once i click on save we will get our function call on click of save you can see we got the debugger now if you see the car object see whatever the data we filled that is available over here car id is by default zero because that is primary key once i continue you will be able to see one API call over here. See, and the API call response is 200, means API call is success. And now in the result, you can see we got object. 
and over there we got result property as true means api call is success fine so while sending the object we send car id as zero but now once you receive here you can see in the result dot data we got the car id means record got created so if result property is true if block will execute and we will show our message car created successfully but currently record is not visible again here but if i again click on this button now again we are making the api call so now new record you can see it is available we can make this dynamic also once api call is success again what we can do this api call function we can again trigger over here like this so once api once api call is success we will automatically this function will get call and new car will be available let's try one more time so currently you can see we have 20 cars let's try to create registration number mh now one more thing i will try to create the same registration number i'm trying to register the car with same registration number let's add some domain name data we will get error from the api that i want to, to show so with this registration number we already have a car so we cannot have a duplicate registration number car right if i click on save car let's continue we got error see we got 400 why 400 okay daily so now you can see we got 400 daily rate and year should be integer but what we send characters so that's why we are getting error let's try and what was that year fine let's click on save now if you see the result see result property we got false and in the message we got the message like car registration number already exists because this registration number whatever we send this is already exists so it won't allow duplicate so now it will go to the else block and it will show the whatever the message you get from the api so that's why we needed this if and else block fine now let's try the correct details let's instead of 3 3 let's pass 6 6 brand let's say mahendra let's pass something 2021 let's say blue let's say daily rate is around 1600 car image just i'm passing something now once i click on save once our api call is success currently you can see we have got 20 record once i click on save so now you can see in result property we got true so if it is true we are showing alert box after that we are immediately calling this function so this function will get new car and here you will be able to see 21 record fine so this is how you do the post api integration so whenever we have to do the post api call integration first you need to check the api what data it need you just copy this and you will create the object and then this object you will bind it to your form by using ng model then on click of save you will write this piece of code this dot http dot post url and the object you need to send and if and else check you need to add this is with my api another api will some in some api you will get some other properties or somewhere uh, some api developer will play with the status code also like that you will write the code fine but if you are going to use my api this is how you need to write the code in case of post api put api and the delete api fine so this is how you do the post api integration so we have successfully created new cars fine so that data is available over here now if even if i refresh and try one more time still you will be able to see this 21 so this kind of thing you won't be able to do it with the mock api so that's why in the gate api integration i have shown you the no, mock api but this adding updating you cannot do with that mock api because every time you get you try the gate api you will get the same record right so that's why we need the real api so you can use my api and you can do the crud operation like this fine again there are so many apis different different projects are there e-commerce and everything so you can use anything but if you are new just try to use the same one what i have used so that you will be familiar fine again if you are new please do like and subscribe and please do join my whatsapp channel also that's it thank you